Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Hotjar's heat map function and I'm just going to explain how it works and how you can use it to increase conversion on your site. So to start with, what actually is a heat map? Heat maps make it easy to visualise complex data and understand it at a glance. So by experimenting with certain buttons and elements that are positioned on your website, Heat maps allow you to evaluate your product's performance and increase user engagement and retention as you prioritise the jobs to be done that boost customer value. So we're basically looking at how a customer will interact on our website and then we can use that data to improve our website, make it more user friendly and hopefully boost conversions or whatever your goal is. Heat maps can help product managers and website owners understand how people are interacting with their web pages. And they can find answers to critical questions such as why are my users not converting or how do I get more visitors to take action using heat maps. Because using heat maps you can determine if users are reaching important content or failing to see it. You can make sure they're finding and using the page's main links, buttons, opt-ins and CTAs. You can make sure they're not getting distracted by non-clickable elements. And you can just see their experience issues across all devices. So there's five different maps that actually come on Hotjar. I've just loaded up a demo site here just to, just to give this tutorial. So I'm going to show you through all the functions they have. And, and we're going to look at what are the most valuable features on the site. So to start with, you have the scroll maps, which you can find down here. And scroll maps show you the exact percentage of people who scroll down to any point in the page. The redder the area, the more visitors see it. So obviously right here is 100% red, so it means everyone's got this far, because everyone who clicks on a website will be taken to this page here. And then obviously the lower you go down, the lower it is. So it drops down, as you can see here. And now by the time you get here, it's down to 37%, and it's not even down that far. So, so this would tell us that there are some improvements to be made on this site. Because as you can see, only 12.5% of people actually get down to the bottom. So if you have some important information at the bottom, like this contact us now, a lot of people might miss out on that as they're not going to scroll that far. Next up with the click map and click maps show us an aggregate of where visitors click their mouse on desktop devices and tap their finger on mobile devices. The map is color coordinated to show the elements that have been clicked and tapped the most. So as you can see right here, the main clicks have been on product and sign up, which is here. You can tell by the red and this one has the most clicked product. So, so you can use this data to help you actually understand where people are wanting to click when they click on your website. Next up we have the move maps. So if we just select this here, move maps track where the desktop users move their mouse as they navigate the page. The hotspots in a move map represent where users have moved their cursor on a page and research suggests a correlation between where people are looking and where the mouse is, meaning that a move map gives you an indication of where people might be looking as they go through your page. So as we just saw with the clicks, product up here was getting a lot of clicks. And as you can see, there's another red area with the move map too. So this would indicate that this product section is what people are drawn to first on our page. Next up, you have engagement zones. So engagement zones combine interactive data sets from clicks, scroll and move heat maps into one simple view. It's a powerful data visualization tool that helps you analyze pages in seconds so you can get a well-rounded view of user engagement with your product. All across the top here, it's very red, uh, which means engagement is high or very high. However, over here, where the contact button is, it's moderate, so maybe we could do something to improve that if we were actually using this on our site. And then next up, we have rage clicks. Now, this lets you pinpoint exactly where users get frustrated on the page, so you can spot and address those pain points to reduce rage clicks and friction in your key flows to improve user experience and boost conversions. So if you have a certain place where there's a ton of rage points, that could indicate that one of your buttons isn't working correctly. And helping to solve that issue can really help fix these problems on your website. Because if people are coming to your website and trying to click on things and it's just not working, they're going to get annoyed and they're going to leave. So those are the main map features of Hotjar. However, there is a few more cool features that we can use to help our business. We can use the top three clicks to see where people click the most. So you can see where people are drawn to click to first, which can be really useful. And you can also highlight certain areas too. So if you click this, you can choose an area and you might want to select that and then you can give a bit of information about it. You can use this to say there's a bug. And you can just use these labels to help to help pinpoint each location and then from there after you've labelled everything you can go back and try and fix these issues. 
Now some other really cool features, such as if we click on this, as you can see, it says view recordings. And what this actually means is, and what this actually is, is recordings of people who've been on your site. So you can see their frustration levels, their engagement levels, you can see when they viewed it, where they're from, and a bit more of information about them such as what and a bit more information about them such as how long they're on your site, etc. So if we just click one of these now. Here you can see we can see exactly what process they went to when they were doing it. So you can track each of these recordings and see what they were struggling with, if they were struggling with anything. We can see what works well in your site and what doesn't. So this can be a really useful tool. Now you can also make new heat maps. As you can see on the left here, there's a few different saved ones for this demo. So you can compare users that click on home to users that click on sign up. So you can check through all of these things and, and use this data to help improve your website. And then down here on the bottom right, we also have a few stats about our website, so we can see our total clicks, our rage clicks, and we can actually use the recordings in order to find out where these rage clicks are. We can see our average time spent on page, U-turns, drop-off rate, and total errors on page. Now you're also able to track these on desktop, tablets, and phone sessions. So you can click these down here and understand where they're getting stuck on which device. So. There hasn't been anyone that's been on here on the tablet, however we can look at phone. So obviously since the phone's a different layout, the way they're going to go around your site will be different. So it is important to look through here to make sure to make sure your website's optimised to desktop, tablet and phone. Because you can have the best site in the world on desktop, however, however if you do have a small percentage of people who come to your website on phones, and the phone's just fully not optimised, then those people are likely to not end up converting. So it's really important you fix your website on every device. Now we can also change it down here from tap to scroll. So we can easily see where they're scrolling to. Or if we want to change it quick, we can just change it over to tap. And we can see if people are clicking anything down here. However, it looks like most people are clicking up here where there is actually the menu button. And we can also see that people are clicking down here, which, which indicates there could be some issues with the site as it doesn't actually look like there is a button down here. You can use this to see what's causing people to actually click down here. And again, you can just check the stats. They will change for each site. So we can choose whichever heat map we want. And we can also download the heat map. So we can download it via JPEG or CSV. So we can get the image or the raw heat map data, which is really cool. And that can be really useful. And the final feature I'm going to talk about is up here. You can also change the time frame and you can change from returning to new users. So returning users might behave differently to new users. So if you're trying to see how your website works for new users, it would be better to look at this and you can see if they're stumbling up anywhere and you have a better idea of where people are actually clicking when they first come on your site. So you just want to use this data as you like and basically mess around with all these functions depending what your goal is for your website. And if you take into account all of the data that you see and use that to help remake your website, you can really increase your user experience and hopefully drive conversions. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully now know how to use Hotjar's heat maps. If you do, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.